Just a quick recap. The White House wasn't painted white to cover the burn marks, but because whitewash had been used beforehand and had become the accustomed color, that was why people often refer to it as the White House. Andrew Jackson likely never planted the fam famous magnolia tree. Uh, only later did an underground White House emerge beneath the building. The Marquis de Lafayette never put an alligator in the East Room. Roosevelt never banned Christmas trees. That wasn't a real thing. Uh, people had been calling the White House the White House well before Roosevelt ordered a new official stationery. And Lincoln never slept in the bed named after him. But probably the biggest one, Dolly Madison did not save the painting by herself, but she ordered it to be saved, and it was through the collective efforts of several people, including at least one enslaved man, Paul Jennings, that this was done. So what do these myths tell us about the White House? Now, because of the White House's rich and deep history, the conditions are optimal for inventing presidential and first lady lore and legends. But as we see with the Gilbert Stewart example, history is often complicated and complex. 